So when I was in Korea, I had so many different types of vegetable bibimbaps and some were like the dolsat kind that were in the hot stone pot, some were more spring-like and I even took a class to show me how to make traditional uh, bibimbap the way that Koreans make it. So I wanted to show you this really easy version today and it's more of like a spring salad -y version that I really enjoyed while I was there. So to start off with, I needed something to make this vegetable bibimbap meaty and nothing is meatier than mushrooms. So I have about 150 grams, right around one package of fresh shiitake mushrooms that I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the stems of um, and then cut it in half before marinating it in a mixture of soy sauce, garlic powder, and sugar. Recipe is all going to be down below. That's just going to marinate for right around 15 to 20 minutes before I put it into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes again, just until it soaks up all of that flavor, gets rid of some of the moisture, and then gets even more meaty. Meanwhile, it is time to make that magical bibimbap sauce, and it is a lot more than just gojujang, but we're going to start off with that first. So two tablespoons of the chili paste for two people. I'm gonna put in some garlic powder, some onion powder, some sugar, and then also a quarter teaspoon of shiitake mushroom powder. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that, is because actually with the sauce, a lot of Korean recipes include just a little bit of minced beef inside this sauce so that it is kind of nice and savory. And what we've replaced it with is something also as savory. And um, I've just taken a dried shiitake mushroom and then you can either put it in a coffee grinder or you can take um, a grater and then grate that as well. This is all finished off with a teaspoon of roasted sesame oil. And um, if the consistency is a little bit too thick, feel free to add a little bit more water. And I'll definitely be uh, making a video of that cooking experience so that you can see uh, all of the tips and tricks of how to make this. And this may be a little bit blasphemous, but I put in a teaspoon of ketchup as well. That's just for me. Um, because I don't like the gojujang to be too spicy, but even if you were someone who liked it spicy, I think uh, that little bit of tang and that little bit of um, sweetness really brings out the sauce. So if you are someone that doesn't like it spicy, I would add in a little bit more ketchup, and then if not, maybe just a touch of it is going to do. So this was yet another gadget that I picked up from Daiso after my grocery haul. So I'll put that uh, link to the video down below because that one was quite fun. And um, what I'm doing is just getting shreds of different vegetables. And I saw many of the restaurants use things like uh, zucchini, daikon radish, uh, some carrots just things that would be really hearty and stand up in the bibimbap. And then they would end everything with some like iceberg lettuce, so it was nice and crunchy.
wonder where I got that bowl from. So the Koreans use a short grain rice, so it's, um, it's nice and kind of soft inside, and that's all they do to the vegetables. There was no cooking, it just tasted like a rice salad. It was very spring-like, very easy to make as well. And I'm topping it off with some nice roasted seaweed and then um, some roasted sesame seeds on top as well. And then of course, a little bit of your gojujang and you just mix that all through. I can't even tell you how satisfying this bowl is. I could eat it every day and you can just, you can fill it up with whatever vegetables that you want. Just make sure that it'll add some crunch to your, essentially your bibimbap rice salad. Anyways, gals and guys, I hope you've enjoyed this bibimbap recipe and um, also that you've been enjoying all of the Korean footage because I have so much more and I really do believe that travel and cooking go hand in hand. You have to try new things to create amazing vegan dishes. So um, I hope you guys have all enjoyed it. As usual, if you want to see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys all again real soon. Bye.